Hello, second grade cougars. It's Mrs. Bellatash again, and look, we're kind of back at the beginning. We've been talking about matter. Matter on Earth comes in three forms, solid, liquid, and gas. And we've really talked about solids and liquids. We haven't really talked about gas, and we're not gonna spend very much time this year talking about gas. But we talked about how we describe them, and we describe them by thinking about their properties. Solids can be flexible, solids can be rigid, solids keep their own shape, right? Liquids pour and flow. Liquids take the shape of their container. Liquids flow and spread out, but solids make a pile. All right, cougars, we've been learning about solids and liquids, and now we are going to bring them together. I have a bunch of bowls with different solids in them, and I'd like you to have at least a couple of these at home, okay? So I have a bowl with some aluminum foil. I have a bowl with a cracker in it. I have a bowl with some sugar. I have a bowl with a piece of cardboard. I have a bowl with some salt. I have a bowl with some rice. I have a bowl with some beans. And I have a uh, mento candy. Now, before we add water to them, I want you to have this piece of paper. It's from your science notebook. I don't want us to glue it in quite yet. And it says, solid materials in water A. What happens when solids are mixed with water? And it says, number one, first the solid was dry. The solid looked, so you see that part of the paper? And I want you to choose a solid that you have at home. And I want you to tell me what the solid look like, looks like now before you add water. Okay, so you finished writing about what the solid looks like before you add water. Now, I'm going to add some water to each of these bowls. Adding some water to the cracker. I'm adding some water to the sugar. I'm adding some water to the beans and the rice and the salt and the cardboard. I need to get some more water, but I'm gonna add water to all of the bowls. So here are my bowls with the materials. So aluminum foil, cracker, sugar, cardboard, rice, beans, candy, Mentos candy, and salt. So this is what these materials look like just like one minute after having water put on them. Now, I don't want you to touch them. I don't want you to stir them. I just want you to let them sit in the water overnight, and we're gonna take a look at them again tomorrow. Okay, so boys and girls, we've already poured some water on those solids. I want to um, put some things into your science notebook. So get your science notebook, and I want you to get this page from your notebook masters and glue it into your notebook. And I know it looks like it's in a baggie. We're not gonna do it in a baggie. We're just gonna do it in a bowl, okay? And you're gonna choose one of those solids, not all of them, just one. And you're going to draw a picture of what does the solid look like in the baggie or in the bowl before you added water. So I chose salt and I, it says, first the solid was dry, the solid looked and I said, like small squares or crystals. So I just drew a little picture of some of the salt crystals. I know they're massively big small salt crystals for some reason. And I wrote a little sentence. Now I'm going to leave this blank because I need to wait overnight to see what's gonna happen to those solids. Then I'm gonna leave the next page blank too because I want us to write what's going to happen, what we observed after 24 hours. But we haven't done that yet. So leave that next page blank. Then I want you to get this paper from your science notebook masters. It's called Solid Materials in Water B. Record what your dry solid looks like. 
So it's this page right here, and I'm going to glue it into my science notebook. Remember, I've got this and then a blank page. Do not glue it on the blank page. Turn the page and glue it on the next page. Okay, second grade cougars, it is the next day. So all of my solids have been soaking overnight. And now we're gonna take a close look at them again. Here are the bowls again. And now I want us to take a close look at each one of them. Here's the aluminum foil. And the aluminum foil doesn't seem to have changed at all. It just got wet. It hasn't gotten rusty, it hasn't shrank, it hasn't gotten bigger, just got wet. Here are the beans. And it looks like the beans really soaked up most of the water because I had this covered with water and the water soaked into the beans and it looks like it made the beans bigger. I'm gonna compare them to the original beans. So these are the beans that we started with. They're the dried beans. Here's the beans after soaking all night long. So these beans absorbed or soaked up the water and they got bigger. Here's the cracker. So the cracker looks like it's just gotten kind of mushy. Looks like some small pieces are coming off of the cracker. I'm gonna give it, ooh. It's very mushy. Here's the rice. And, you know, the rice is so small that it's hard to really tell if anything happened. It didn't absorb all the water like the beans did. Uh, here's some of the rice. Maybe we can look closer. So this is the dried rice before I added water. And this is the rice after it's soaked all night long. It's interesting, it seems to be more opaque. This one seems to be more translucent, and this one seems to be more opaque. And also, maybe slightly bigger. Not a lot bigger, but a little bigger. So the rice absorbed some of the water. This is the salt and the water. So I see maybe a few grains of something on the bottom. But mostly, I don't see any salt anymore. So boys and girls, we say that when the salt disappears into the water, that it dissolves. The salt dissolved. Here's the cardboard. So the cardboard got totally wet, but in addition, it fell apart. So, there were all these different components of the cardboard. There was this layer of the cardboard. And then there's this piece in the middle. It's hard to do this with one hand. This piece in the middle, which was kind of like bent back and forth, right? And then this is the outer side. So cardboard is actually three layers. And there's glue that keeps it together. Well, when I put the cardboard in the water, the glue dissolved and the cardboard fell apart. This is the sugar. Now, in the salt, we could still see maybe a few small grains. I'm gonna see if there's, no. I don't see any grains of sugar in the water at all. The water is really transparent. So again, this looks like the sugar dissolved in the water. The Mentos candy. And Mentos candy is made mostly out of sugar. So you can see that most that the candy dissolved, there's a little film on the top. And I guess that's like some of the coloring that was in the Mentos candy. But you can see that the Mentos candy is mostly gone. It has dissolved. Okay, so we just saw what happened to the solids when they had been soaking in the water for 24 hours. Now, I want to see what happens 
if we let them dry for 24 hours. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the things that have solids that have like things that are still in the bowl and I'm gonna drain the water. Now I can't drain the water off of the um, dissolved sugar because there's if I pour it out, I also pour out any of the sugar that's dissolved in it. So I'm gonna, if, it, if it's a liquid that's dissolved, if, if everything is solid dissolved inside the liquid, I'm gonna let the whole thing dry out and we're gonna see what happens. So we're gonna take a look at these again tomorrow. So it's been 24 hours and I let the bowls sit open with a top off, no top on it. And the air, um, the water inside the cups evaporated. And we can look at the solids again now. Here are the beans. And do you remember how the beans looked kind of shriveled up before? Well, they returned to their shriveled up state. Here's the cardboard. Remember how the cardboard fell apart in the water? Well, when it dried, it went, it's still cardboard, but you see it kind of curls up. It uh, doesn't dry nice and flat. It all came apart. The aluminum foil is exactly the same. It didn't really change at all, did it? Nope. The cracker. Well, it did not completely dissolve, right? Um, but when it's dried up, it all kind of fell apart. It's still crunchy. It's a little crunchy again, but it certainly does not quite look like a cracker. Here's the rice. So the rice went right back and all of the water evaporated out and it became hard and uh, a little bit shrunken. This one is interesting. This is the salt. So when the salt water, when the water evaporated, the salt that was inside left behind these really nice salt crystals. Very cool, very cool. This is the Mentos candy. And I don't know, you can't really tell, but it's very sticky. So most of the water is gone. There's no water left, but there's this sticky residue. It certainly does not look like a Mentos candy, does it? It does not. And sadly, boys and girls, I spilled the sugar water. So I don't really have anything to show us what the sugar water would look like. It's, I see a little bit of material on the bottom. I don't see crystals like the salt water evaporated out these beautiful crystals um, there might have, I would thought maybe I'd have a few crystals here, but sadly that got spilled. I'd like to just go over what happened with these materials. So when we take a solid, lots of little solids or even a big solid and we add water, different things can happen. Sometimes they just get wet. The aluminum foil did not change. It just got wet. That's it. Sometimes things can soak up or absorb the water. The rice and the beans absorb the water. They soak it up. And then when they dry out, they let it go. Some of the things like the salt and the sugar dissolve. They fall apart in the water. They look like they disappear. They're not gone. They've just dissolved in the water. Now, the reason that we know that they're not gone is because once we let the bowl sit out for 24 hours and the water disappeared, we saw that the material was there. Now, that disappearing trick that water does is pretty awesome. We say that when water dries up, it evaporates. It evaporates. And that's a really important idea, and we're going to be talking about that a lot in science. Okay, so we had some solids. We added some liquid to it, some water. Next week, we're going to take some liquid, and we're going to add some water and see what happens. See you next week, guys.